Welcome back. Today I am going to show you how I take this tissue box that's empty and try to make this useful and give it some new life before I toss it. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I get started. And I'm going to take the inside of the box here and I'm going to cut diagonally from the corner towards the center. Now, if you do not have steady hands, get some help with this. If you are someone with arthritis, get a family member that can be of assistance and um, don't hurt yourself doing this. It's not worth getting hurt if you have shaky hands. All right, and just one more. So you can see, I just basically cut a big X across the box. Let's take this plastic right here, just peel this off. One thing I've noticed lately is the price of tissues has really gone up. I might have to go old school and just buy some men's handkerchiefs. The handkerchiefs or handkerchief? I don't even know. <laughs> I was always somebody that never really bought tissues. I just used toilet paper. But when I got more money, I started buying convenience items like um, Kleenex. So now we've got this empty box here. So I like the design. I like to get these boxes that have a pretty cute little design on it. That way, if I do, do reuse it and repurpose it, it's something I want to look at. I've got some good old fashioned Elmer's glue that I got from my dollar store. Apply some glue here. I apply a lot just to make sure I've got plenty. And I fold this down like this. And I just hold it for a few seconds. And then I break out these little clips here. I hold that clip to the edge like that. And I just press on this to help the glare, the, the glare, the glue <laughs> adhere. <laughs> there I go, making up words again, glare, <laughs> glue adhere. And I just press on this. Gonna let this sit for a while. Look what I found in the kitchen, some larger clips. So hopefully that sticks pretty good. It's not like, you know, we're making stuff to sell. You know, this is just, <laughs> this is just to reuse for my own intents and purposes over here. And the nice thing when you reuse stuff, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just use what you've got, make the best of it. Now I'm just gonna fold this back inside like that. Now this is the big clip here. This should really work. Oh, might be too big. Let's see, maybe this will just hold down the whole thing. Okay. All right, that's what's up. That's cool. That looks like it'll work. Plenty of glue. The glue was just a dollar. I don't mind using a whole lot of it because it was pretty affordable for me. And we just clip that edge down. I guess I need better light in here so you can see, <laughs> but I'm using what I've got. So we're just going to let this sit for a while. I just wanted to say this is kind of funny looking. It reminds me of old school hair salons where women would be sitting under the um, hair dryers with all their rollers and their <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody else sees that, but I just thought it was funny. I'm just taking all these little clips off. These are the best. These are really good. Very heavy duty, very strong. What I decided to do with this tissue box is just take these oatmeal packets. They fit really well right inside. It's like 
this square box is just perfectly designed for oatmeal. <laughs> this is just some pumpkin spice oatmeal. I don't understand the latte craze, but I do understand the oatmeal craze. It's pretty good stuff. So right here, I've got four packets of instant oatmeal. You could probably double that with the remainder of the space inside. And this is just gonna be a decorative little container for my oatmeal, just to make my kitchen countertop a little bit prettier. Thanks for watching this video. And if you like this type of content, please feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.